name is Johnny Wordswright, part of Rare Breeding Productions, Free Minds Click, Bass Heads, and I got my boy right here. Mike Justice, Cypher Source Crew, the featured artist, Bakersfield, what's up? Travis Fables, the featured artist, Cypher Source Crew. I'm doing a promo for the battle that we're having February 7th with other performers, but he's going to go against Prison of Flesh, so I'm here to ask him a couple questions. So, uh, first off, how you doing, man? Pretty good, dude. How you yeah, it's been a little while, huh? Kicked it, but yeah, it's always good to see you. A while. I'm doing pretty um, good. Got a few questions for you, man. Um, you have battle with a person of flesh February seventh. Yeah. What are you doing to prepare for that? Like, what's your whole mind state of that? Um, bars, creativity, delivery. You know, just wits and, and coming with it. I want to give it all 110. percent I don't want to lack in anything. So I'm definitely going to be prepared for this. Does have. Um, an advantage over justice being that he has more um, he has more experience battling although my justice has more experience in front of a crowd period so it should be should be an inter interesting one to see Definitely. And people probably wondered out there how long you've been battling you know not just on camera but off camera like. oh I, I've been battling for a long time <laughs> probably years 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 like I, I can't even say how many years but since I was about probably like 19, 20 years old battling in garages and house parties and stuff like that. But it was always usually over beats. It was this, I've had one other battle written, which was that one chick, you know, you remember we threw that event. Um, this will be my second written battle like this. But as far as battling, I've been doing it for, for a while now. Random spots all over Bakersfield, alleys and shit. <laughs> I don't even remember exactly where, but it's been a while. Mike Justice versus Prison of Flesh. I expect it to be, of course, a one-on-one. -on -one. It would be thoughtful versus energetic. Thoughtful would be on Prison of Flesh's side. Energetic would be more on Mike Justice's side. Not saying Mike Justice won't be thoughtful, but he'd have a little bit more aggression and, and more of a presence than I say Prison of Flesh. Even though Prison of Flesh has a better presence now, and he has really good lyrics, Hopefully he can, you know, maybe for the battle he would have to dumb it down a little bit more because the crowd likes to hear direct more than over your head lyrics, you know? And so I expect it, I don't I can't really call to see if it was, if, you know, who would win between them, but it would be a really good battle between uh, just straight up bars, lyrics, and all that stuff. It's been a while. So what made you throw shots at him? Like, what made you... Um... The, um, Facebook yeah, and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I like that kind of stuff, and I'm kind of hoping he comes back with something, man, get me mad a little bit. <laughs> but, um, you know, I just like to, you know, create a little buzz for it. I don't want it to be like, not say anything or know any kind of like, uh, stirring up. You know what I mean? I don't want it to just be, oh, this is, I'm a battle for the flesh that day. You know? I want people to be like, oh shit, they're gonna battle. Hell yeah, I want to, they're taking shots, obviously. So let's make it happen, you know. I hope I hope you got some shit to say too, man. Don't be shy. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that one chick Uno, um, and he actually lost his last battle too. Well, it was his only battle. He's he's more of like you know how I am. He's more of a writer, um, but he decided to battle that one time. Um, you know, it was a close one, but uh, Uno ended up taking it. So Justin. Uh, or Mike Justice, he's gonna be he's gonna be hungry coming into this. He's been itching the battle actually. He's been wanting to step in the ring. Um, Prison of Flesh, I believe he did lose his last battle as well. So it, it should be it should be interesting, man. Both of them are hungry MCs. They ready to fucking they ready to get it. What's a good job? It's Prison of Flesh over here at Sandrini's fucking February seventh. Prison of Flesh versus Mike Justice. Be there. All right, man. Uh, how long have you been battling for? Shit, I've been fucking battling since like since like high school, but like they, those weren't really serious. That wasn't serious shit though. My first battle was probably in 2013 when uh, I had signed up for some shit that my homie my homie Nugs he uh, he shot me like flyers and shit like that, and uh, yeah, and I signed up for that shit quick. I didn't take it too seriously, but I just had some shit already like premeditated, so I just went in and I did. How do you usually prepare yourself for a battle? It depends on um, the person, you know, because fucking it's very like, I don't know what's the word for it, but like, um, I just fucking, uh, depends on who you are. So like, 
you have to like, you know, with my justice, it's like, you know, I'm not really a person that's gonna be fucking stalking your shit or nothing like that. So like, I'm just gonna, I have more respect for people that have fucking, that use punchlines, bars, you know, all the attributes and show them off instead of personals, you know, because I'm not a big fan of personals. You know, it is what it is. I expect a very good battle, you know, uh, Prison, he has, uh, he has lyrics, he has bars, you know, he has punchlines, but I, I'm just hoping this time he gets the crowd involved because, uh, you know, crowd, crowd involvement, you know, it, uh, it, it, can, it can take you a long way during battle. Justice, I've seen him battle, you know, and uh, he lost, he lost that one, but you know, it, was, it was a pretty good battle, so I know Justice, you know, being a short, uh, being in battle scene for short period of time that he was, or he is, um, I think, I think he'll come, he'll, 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 he'll come with it, he'll come with it. <coughs> and then it actually goes cool, it was cool. What kind of battle do you plan to bring on February 7th? Classic. <laughs> plan to bring uh, all the attributes, you know, fucking bars, punchlines, metaphors, similes, fucking incorporating flows. I always try to do new things, you know, try to fucking, you know, just better myself because I'm, I'm still a beginner at this shit, you know, so. Battles I expect. I expect the bloodbath. I expect a lot of bars, a lot of lyrics, a lot of your face. It's a bar fest. That's a justice versus prison of flesh. More or less strictly for the sport, you know. I mean, it, it was always good to see, uh, okay, we're going to win some money out of it or not. But it, at the end of the day, I, I, want, I took this battle really because I want a battle. So it, it could have been for $100, it could have been for $20, it could have been for a free beer, whatever, pitcher. I would have done it for anything. For, and that's why we're doing it just for promo. And I don't have a problem with that at all. I, I like the sport about it, competitiveness about it. So I didn't mind it at all. So what kind of battle do you expect to see out of the two battlers on February 7th? I'm looking to see some blood. No, I'm just kidding. Um, well, I'm really hoping to see some low blows, you know, some good punch lines, maybe some rebuttals and a little comebacks here and there. Just wanted to be a overall exciting show, something good, you know. Spin bars and all that name, popularity contest, and all like that. How did you feel about the shots uh, on Facebook that Mike Justin's posted? Well, I thought that shit was it was pretty funny. Like, I'm not sure if he was fortunate enough to know that you know cannabis is probably one of my. Well, he was like one of uh, the reason why I became, you know, who I am today. It was cannabis. Yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. All right. Uh, what made you want to drop the hundred dollars and just go for a promo battle? Because the reason for uh, promos is that I mean, there's a reason why URL and all the big major leagues they do they do fucking uh, promos. It's because once you know who the winner is, it's like you have like psychologically you don't really want to go back and see the battle really. But when there's when it's not judged, like more people will like it'll be more you know have more replay value, pretty much like that. But, and I don't really don't give a fuck about the money, you know. But like I just want to flood the uh, YouTube with my battles and the internet. To go against you, want to get against. Um, off the top, I couldn't really think of a lot. Of, I can't really think of a lot of people I want to battle because it, it hasn't really been in my my head, my mind state right now to keep battling, battling. I do want to keep battling after this, so we'll see what happens. But if I would have to think off the top, it would definitely be Super Villain Almighty. Yeah, eventually I want to battle Rarick as well too, because I know he's putting his mark. I, I like anybody who's really grinding at this shit and, and is doing it for real. It's, I mean, I don't know when that's gonna happen. I'm not saying I'm gonna stay so consistent on battles because I got other stuff going on, but definitely I can see that happening. And um, all right, last question: If you could battle anyone in Bakersfield, who would it be? Yeah, that was one of the questions I was thinking about earlier, too. I really like, you know, I like to compare resumes to people in Bakersfield. But, you know, everybody's like on some weird fucking ego shit or something like that. To me, I don't give a fuck, you know, I'll battle anybody. And, you know, that's anybody that wants to battle, fucking just hit me up. You know, I'm fucking going to be very active for the next few years to keep trying to build my name and shit like that. It's a small town, I'm going to do the damn thing. But if I had to choose, Maybe Travis Fables, you know, maybe, uh, you know, uh, I wanted to do a rematch with, uh, Rarick, but, you know, I had lost the desire to do that, you know, I became cool with him and shit like that, 
Travis. I don't really have the desire to get out there. Yeah, maybe Travis Fables, maybe sometime in the future when I get some more fucking uh, shit on my resume, more experience, I would like to do that. After maybe, you know, because he seems to be one of the big heads here. But as soon as I get more shit, that will be very soon. Um, in all honesty, sir, do you really think you can take your opponent? Certainly. Uh, Mike Justice, you know, he's a cool guy. I saw him, you know, I looked up the shit on YouTube before. I didn't really see any battles, so I just saw him rock the shows and shit. Yeah. What can, what can I come up with? I'm going to you know what I mean? And, uh, that's what I'm just going to bring to the table. 110% Mike Justice. That's pretty much it, man. Any last words you want to... Um, be ready, February 7th, let's go.